Well, hello there, loyal audience of probably no one, if I'm being honest. I thought I'd try something a little different and actually record audio. Uh, so this clip is from uh, March of 2018. We had tank madness going on for what we didn't know at the time would be the last time. And I backed Team France, so had to just play all my French premium tanks, all my French tech tree tanks also, but I don't think I had as many of them. And see what I could get. Get as many points as I could for them. Oh, and there I just noticed that one of my clan mates was in the battle randomly. It, it's fun to watch these old clips now, because the game is so much different. It's, I was watching some uh, Tank Bull clips earlier. That name hits a lot differently now that uh, I've watched Urinating Trees NFL videos, in which a Tank Bull is a game in which two teams with losing records face each other. And they both try to lose so that they can get better draft picks in the next season. It doesn't actually mean a whole lot for World of Tanks, but it's just weird. And in this game, you can really see me enjoying that uh, very short inner clip reload, but I wasn't able to finish off the T-43 because... You only have 57 millimeter gun. Oh, set off. Set that VK3601 on fire. When I played this game, I still lived in Japan. That's how long ago this was. Oh, there's me trying to get a shot on the arty. Gotcha, piggy. <coughs> ah, back when we could actually take, uh, take hills down. And Wargaming hadn't put rocks everywhere just to kill us for trying. I can't remember if I do get the kill on this AT-8 or not, or AT-7. I do! Old victory music, old victory screen, old ribbons. Even though I haven't seen all this stuff in so long, it's what I came up with, so it doesn't feel out of place at all. That was a pretty good game. Well, I mean, it was an ace tanker, of course it was. And the next day, I actually played the same tank and got another ace tanker in it. And here we are. It is a... looks like top tier match on cliff 
in the summer variant, which we don't have anymore. Of course, I wanted to avoid the uh, the bottleneck of the one and two line. That way is death. Oh, mate. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. Hey! It's almost like uh, we're both finding watching this for the first time. Because I haven't watched this clip since I played it, probably. Even though it's so useful to get up to the lighthouse, if they get a light up there, you just know you're going to die in the process, so I generally don't bother. There's my first kill. French on French violence. Maybe he was a Burgundian. I miss the old, uh, command, the communications wheel. There's a lot of stuff you can't say anymore. You can't tell somebody to fall back. I don't even know if you can say thank you anymore. taking a risky move here. Well, I know it must have paid off since this is an ace tanker, but I don't know that I would take that move if I were playing today. In general, playing lights is more risky than it used to be, though. Everybody can fire a lot more precisely than they used to. And they have more DPM these days. Oh, found the piggy. Looks like I want to take out the T1 Heavy first, though. There he goes. But I probably don't have enough to take out the Arty. Not if I miss. So amazed that this worked. But I guess you tend to record the ones that worked. Kill stolen again. And yep, there's my second ace tanker in this tank in two days. 
Team France did win their weekend of Tank Madness. I remember that much. I think I went undefeated during Tank Madness that year. Oh, that's it for me, Leon Cook, or as I go in name, LionCat84. I'll see you on the battlefield.